Welcome. This video defines a pump and then explains three things. How a centrifugal pump works, how a piston pump works, how a check valve works. The pump is one of humankind's earliest inventions because of the need to move water from one place to another. This image shows the shutoff, which dates to about 2000 BC. The physics of this pump are quite simple. A long suspended rod with a bucket at one end and a weight at the other is used to help a person move water from a lower elevation to a higher elevation. A pump is a machine that does work on a fluid in order to increase the energy of the fluid. Personally, I carry two pumps around with me at all times. This would be my heart and my lungs. When the heart contracts, the walls of the heart push on the blood, thereby doing work on the blood, which leads to an increase in kinetic energy of the blood. Lungs work in a very similar way. Contraction of the muscles push air out of the lungs, and relaxing of the muscles allow the lungs to expand, thereby drawing air in. When a computer fan rotates, the blades push on the air, thereby doing work, which increases the energy of the airflow. When I push on the um, soap dispenser, I exert a force through a distance, thereby doing work. In response, the soap is lifted up and flows out of the device. So to summarize, all pumps are simply machines that do work on a fluid to increase the energy of the fluid. A centrifugal pump uses a rotation of blades to add energy to a flowing fluid. Here are two common examples of centrifugal pumps. To see how a centrifugal pump works, imagine going to the swimming pool and orienting your hand like this. If you move your hand horizontally, it makes the water move downward like that, and there's a component of water motion downward. Same way, the rotation of a fan blade drives airflow downward along the axis of the fan. Notice how these blades are set at an angle. This drives flow radially, kind of like this, and the flow comes out here. Similarly, in a uh, water pump, the flow is driven out radially by the rotating impeller. So the flow comes out here, and the flow enters here, and this inlet section right here is a low pressure region. This is called the suction side, and the exit region uh, is high pressure and this is called the discharge side. So suction side and discharge side. It shows a typical centrifugal pump for water. So the water flows in the suction side, out the discharge side. In the casing in here is the rotating impeller and this is the motor which spins the impeller. Summary. How does a centrifugal pump work? Well, a set of rotating blades uh, does work on a fluid, and this increases the energy of the flowing fluid. Now, there are many types of pumps used by engineers. There's centrifugal pumps, which I just showed you. There's piston pumps, gear pumps, diaphragm pumps, etc. College course, nearly all the pumps in the book problems are centrifugal pumps. And this is probably the most common type of pump that engineers use in application. And I've just shown you that. And next I want to show you one other type because it's kind of cool. This is the piston pump. Here are four common examples of the piston pump. The everyday spray bottle, the squirt gun, the hand water pump, and the bicycle tire pump. And if you really want to learn a lot, buy yourself a squirt bottle or a squirt gun or get yourself a tire pump. Take it apart and see how it works. This is super cool. I just love how people figured out how to make these pumps work. This slide shows how a piston pump works. Um, let's examine this particular detail. When the piston is moving down, high pressure forces this particular stopper open, and so the flow goes like this out to the destination. In the same way, high pressure forces this stopper into the opening, and this valve closes and prevents flow from going this way, so there's no flow allowed in that direction. Now when the piston is moving upward like this, 
this region in here is low pressure. So high pressure over here forces the stopper out of the opening and allows flow to come in from the supply. And similarly, high pressure back here forces this stopper to close the opening and preventing any flow from coming back from the destination. So there's no flow in that direction. So when the piston is moving downward, the flow goes to the destination. And when the piston is moving upward, flow comes from the supply. Very ingenious. And what makes this work is this special kind of valve called a check valve. And a check valve is a one-way valve. It's like a rectifier in electronics. Summary. A pump is a machine that does work on a fluid, thereby adding energy to the fluid. A centrifugal pump uses spinning blades to do work on the fluid. And this is the most common kind of pump used by engineers. And nearly every textbook problem you'll see involves a centrifugal pump, as opposed to all the other types possible. The piston pump is also very common in application. And the way this works is a piston does work on the fluid. And these check valves automatically regulate inflow and outflow. Super cool. Lastly, a check valve is a valve that allows flow in one direction only. It's a rectifier for, for a flowing fluid. That concludes this video. Hope you've enjoyed this. We'll see you next time.